The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, folks. Uh, feeling good. Let's take a quick look here at this Swedish Krona. This is going back over uh, 17 years. Uh, the gentleman uh, has been doing business uh, starting in 2023. He's been paid in Swedish uh, Krona. And they've been in a very bearish market for seven years. They've been in a re recession for at least five and well, you can see it, at least six through here. And now we've made a beautiful bottom. Now, he, he was paid down in this area here at the 0 09 level, and now it's trading at um, it's up 10% on that. This is a very bullish chart, folks. You've got three drive to a bottom pattern. You've got a major ABCDs completing. And I, my suggestion was him is, look, if it gets back to break even, you cash out, go back into British pounds. But I think you could get a rally here of 30, 40 percent up into this area. And so he would get a big bonus if he holds on and it does what it says it does. But this is a very bullish pattern here at the uh, and not only that, but you almost you have a double bottom in here. So that tells me that you want to be long to Swedish Krona. I mean, not many people want to do that, but the pattern says that's what you should be doing. OK, let's move on to talk about some of the things that are in the market today. We've got a big move going on in copper. We've already talked about that. But I wanted to bring one other one up here that we've been in for quite a while. Now, this is the corn that we talked about. Remember, nobody wanted to buy corn when it was down here. We had the pullback right here. It was a 382 pullback, and boom, away it went. There was our price objective. You can see that it made a nice little three-drive pattern. It's coming down a little bit. So what we're going to be doing now is watching this. Remember, this ended in, in around the February 20th. Okay, so it was well uh, about three and a half weeks ago. So what we'd like to see is a nice ABCD pattern pulling down in corn here over the next few weeks. So far it's down today, but not very much. The same is true in wheat and the same is true uh, in the soybeans. We both have those on our watch list and they're acting uh, relatively well. Okay, now let's move on here for just a second, and I wanted to get another one up here that people have been asking me about. Oh, we have to do this one, folks. <laughs> I, made a, I made a $2 bet on this. I never bet on the markets, but this is the AI program, folks. If you'd like to have a trade that you might want to try, here is the, a, the ABCD right here. There's where the time, there was the low of the day. They're supposed to be the high of the day, and it's making the high of the day. And look at the number, one three nine six seven four. The high has been three nine six seven two. So it's right in the ballpark, and your risk is uh, above here somewhere, about a hundred points. So that's what we're watching. I shouldn't even have brought that up. Let's. Get, well, yes, I should have. This is what my job is here. Okay, we're going to look over here now with the uh, the treasury bots. Remember, we had this really nice pattern in here. Uh, on that four-hour chart, remember, we'll just remind everybody we had the beautiful 135 pattern. Look at the rally over yesterday on the third, well, today's early morning rally in the middle of the night. Just missed the 382 retracement by one pip, and now it's starting to come down. Now, we are getting very close. Okay, now, going back to the big low back here on the 22nd, look where we're setting at now, folks. We're just right here at the 382 level right now. So this is a spot here where I don't want to be too bearish at this level, but I don't have uh, any other reason other than the 382 to get in this. And if you sold it up here at this level right here, folks, that's a you know significant amount of money from here to here is $2,500. So let's just think, let's do this on the daily. I think you'll see it even clearer. There it is right there. There's where we're coming down right now. And this is what we're looking at. You can see that beautiful symmetry here. Okay, there's your 618. There's your 50%. 24 days over, 24 days over. And now we're down one, two, three, four, five days. We're going to blow this up one more time. And you can see we're setting just about at the 382 level. 
And uh, that is, in fact, it's trading right there right now at uh, 120 16. The low has been 120 uh, 05. So I would suggest taking profits in here and then we'll see what happens to the next leg of this. But this is a completed pattern. The profit objective has been met. The things that we look for as far as ratios and pullbacks have been fulfilled and your risk went from 20 points. You made three times that and so you want to go to the bank and at least uh, cash in some money. Sure, it might go down some more, but uh, you know we're in the business of cashing checks here, and uh, especially when it's not our money, and that's what we're looking at here in the Treasury bonds, okay? So that's another one that we're looking at. Bob Miner will be our guest here at the break, and if you hold on one second here, I wanna show a few other charts that are very interesting here. Now we've got, we're having a big move here in two things that I wanna point out, and that is the uh, Hold on one second here. That is the uh, gold. Okay, now we had a really, this, this is a 60 minute gold chart. And last night I said we were looking at a 382 retracement here. And I said I prefer to do this one right here. And we have, look what happened. It hit it exactly, dropped $9, and then went back and made a new high. Folks, gold is acting very, very bullish. I mean, it's really acting bullish. So I think we have to pay attention to that. Now, this trade would have been a break-even trade, but that's the one that we were watching very, very closely. Because once you, you know, if you're risking $5 and then you make $8, the worst that would happen is you would have broke even. And if you looked at it on a really short-term basis, let's just say a little bit, you'll see what happened here. See, there was the original sell right here. The market broke from 77 down to 69, dropped $8. Okay, then it starts to take off. Here was your key spot. You see that spot right there? This is why, let me get this out of the way here. This is why this is so very, very important. This takes just about uh, 10, uh, just about an hour, one hour pullback. Okay, now if it's really bullish, and this was the low right back here, which it was because that gave you that high, this should be a 382. And if you mark that from there to there, bada bing, bada boom. And folks, you see these all the time. I'm gonna be covering these like a textbook and a Bible, I guess, when I do these live trading thing coming up here in April sometimes, we're gonna be looking at a lot of these intradays because they're really, really powerful. And they give you a lot of things moving in your direction, whether it's either up or down, you can you can really use 3A2, but you've gotta understand how they work. They only work in really strong trending markets. And that's in fact what we've been having today and we're having the same thing happening in gold, all right? Okay, let's move on here to the, uh, well, we know what we should do since we're watching this. Let's get this up here. We got a break coming, but I've got to watch this because I just told people to do something. Yeah, there's the number here. The, the sale was, folks, at 39674, okay? And the high has been 39675. So you sell it at 39675, and you only have to risk 50 points, $250. Because if it gets above here, you don't know I have anything to do with it, okay? Now, going back to the same the same thing that we were just talking about. Now, this is the 9.30 in the morning low, okay? Now, if my theory is correct, what do you think this would be? Let's just test it out, Larry. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and I'm going to go through the crude oil, the same uh, process. You'll see here. Now, remember, folks, when you see a buck and a half in crude oil, that's equivalent to 30 handles on the S&P, so that's a big move. But when you have a really strong trending market, the first thing you want to look for is the 382 retracement. So you go from your high down to your low. There it is. Perfect, okay? And what does that lead to? It leads to an A, B, C, D to the downside. So if you follow that, you'll see A, B right here. And you'll see CD right here. And there's the low now. It makes a lower low here. But before it does that, look at that. It goes right up and makes a 382 retracement off of this one. And then that yields to what we were looking at today that we covered in the video was to watch for an A, B, C, D to the upside right here, which we did. Okay. And you'll notice that we'll just draw it in so you'll be able to see it. Hold on there. Get this uh, puppy working. There's your A, B leg. There's your CD leg. Now it went a tiny bit higher, 79.29. Two things that we do is we measure the 1.618 expansion of that move because that gets you to the promised land, which is 79.54. What does it do? It drops almost $800. And where does it stop? Exactly 382 off of this. And what is that telling us? Get ready, Mr. Putin, because you're going to be charging more for your oil pretty soon, it looks like, because this thing looks like it's ready to go. All it needs to do is get above this. If you look at this on the daily, you'll see it, that all we have to have here, there was your there was your 382 off of this one. It went to 0.43. Let's see what the difference between those two numbers were in dollar amounts. The 382 comes in at 24. It was within $400 of the uh, $500. Yeah, $500. Well, actually, $450 of the exact low. Now, if we start cleaning above here, this is going to be really bullish, folks, because we've had an ABCD here, a really positive move to the upside. So got to watch that one. That's got to be a really interesting one 
you know, to pay close attention to. Now, another one that we want to be watching is the cattle market. And I believe we've been, I'll just get this up here. So we'll be able to see what we've been waiting to sell that up around the 190 level. This is the April cattle. We'll be switching over to the December here. Ooh, we're getting close. We got there the other day uh, on the 8th, but it didn't get filled. So we're still watching that one. Hold on a second here. See, we missed that one by, uh, I think, just a few pennies. What we were watching here is this larger pattern here going back to the 15th of February and then this one up into this area right here you see we had our order setting in here right above here uh, there's 90 and 9071 we've been to uh, 9004 so we're still looking at that and I think we're going to get that in the next day or two this is one of the things that we'll be watching you've got drive one right here okay you got drive two right there and drive three should be right there and that will complete the whole package and that Boys and girls, is your Christmas Day opening price of 19072.9. Anyway, that's what it should be going to. And there's also another one in here over the last three days. You'll be able to see that we have a, another one that's going to get you right up into that promised land, too. So be prepared for cattle. They're going to be ready to have a pretty nice move to the downside. Going back and looking at cattle, I always like to bring this up when you have some winners that line up pretty nice. But look at the Look at the drives to the bottom here, folks. The 382s all the way down. The beautiful three drive to a bottom that occurred, you know, right on the bottom down there at that 165 level. We got out of it a little too soon. Well, a little more than a little too soon. We got out of it up in here, 184. And but that was still a nice move. And we're hopefully that it'll uh, continue to show some uh, promise into the uh, future. Okay, now let's take a look at that trade that we put on here for the old uh, boys and girls here. Okay, we should, did we get filled? Yeah, you would have, you would have been filled at uh, one, uh, excuse me, three, nine, six, seven, four, a high, well, it hit three, nine, six, seven, five. So we're, we'll figure that it hasn't been filled yet, but uh, it, it should get filled, well, yeah, it should get filled, 39674, and then your stop would be uh, 74, so you're only going to risk a 39702. Three, you're going to risk $150 on that. That's all you're going to risk, no more than that. So that'll keep you into the game for the next time we have something like this lined up, and that's what we're watching for. If we blow this up on a three-minute, and I know these are minis, but this is how Mandelbrot did his work with ABCDs. You can see here's where we are again. And there's that 382, I believe. Let's just mark that off and see if that was the same one we were looking at. Yep, there it was right there, right within one tick. Here's where we are right now. That means we're going to go just a tiny – we're right in the zone here. We're probably going to get some type of a, a pretty good uh, re retracement here, taking the last low to the last high. We're there. Yeah, this is it. You see the stops here, or it's 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 toast. It's in – you know, that's really all you're looking at. So if that happens, you just stand aside and wait and see uh, what happens with the next one. Now we had, believe it or not, we had another question about Bitcoin, and I will get that up here. Oh, you know what? Bob Miner is going to be talking to us about Bitcoin here pretty soon, and uh, I'm not uh, involved with Bitcoin. I haven't been. I don't plan to be. <laughs> believe it or not, uh, my son-in-law and daughter-in-law <laughs> long time ago i'm talking 2017 someone over in the uk told me to buy some stuff i said i did and i told them to buy it and they did <laughs> they're very happy <laughs> they think it was my idea but frankly i can't take a can't take credit to that all right let's move on here to the uh, next one here that we want to look at which is everyone seems to be asking about tesla and uh, everybody's worried about mr um uh, Oh, two I've got to look at. Sorry, folks. Got to do this quickly because I got to get this in. Tesla's still going lower, folks. See, it's still making new lows. This is not a good sign. Remember on the daily chart, it said, nope, this 382 retracement couldn't even make it. That means we're heading lower and we're still heading lower. The next one that's really important here is this one here, which is the <clears throat> uh Semiconductor, Taiwan Semiconductor Business, okay? And you can see here's another one here. This is an hourly chart. And notice here we had this big move up and the big break. But remember, we pointed this out yesterday. Where did it rally back to? 
end of story, morning glory, right there. And that stopped it so far. The other one that is really big, and it's in the news all the time, is micro strategies. I'm bringing these up because when these things fall down and, and go you know, to Florida for vacation, you're going to see why they did it. And you can use some of this stuff. Where is TSMR? MSTR. There it is. Micro strategy. This one was up to be supposed to be up 16% today, and it looks like it is. Here it is. It's still going crazy to the upside. Now let's try our 382 to see if it works. Here was the 26th low at 700. We had a high here at 1350. Let, folks, I haven't looked at this chart before. I'm just looking at it the first time. Well, it goes a little below 382. Has a run here and a little bit of a pullback. Now that's big enough to... That is big enough to, to measure, so you have to take a look. There's your low right here. There's your high. There's your exact 382. Okay, and oh, look where we're. Oh, dear, look where we are now. We're at 1.618. Oh, do, 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 do. <laughs> Bob Miner coming up. Don't miss it. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. 
They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay, folks, I believe we have Bob Miner on the line. Bob, how are you doing? Just grand. Thank you. I'm here. Do you, do you miss being here in Tucson, Bob? <laughs> well, sometimes I, I, in the, in the wintertime I do, <laughs> not in the summer. <laughs> I'm, Bob, I like Greensboro yeah. just fine. I know it's a beautiful area. That's John Hill lived near there, but uh, Bob used to live about a mile and a half uh, west of me, and he was known as Bubba East, and I was Bubba West, and I see the Global Trading Championship. You were the only uh, member here in the USA that finished in the money, and he did incredibly well, 156%. That That's uh that's pretty. Was that a monthly figure? Or was that for the whole year? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, if it were monthly, we probably wouldn't be talking. Yeah, no, that that's, was for the whole. Good. That was for the whole year. Yeah. yeah. I have one. Let me question you, Bob. Here, this first guy, number one, uh, Satadan Casabel. Cas I, I'll lay out six to five that that was a uh, bit uh, cryptocurrency trading. Do you know anything about the guy I, or? I don't. I can't even pronounce yeah. his name, let alone know I what he did. Either. I was. I was just guessing. <laughs> Anyway, this is what you've been doing these for years, too. You've always been right up there, haven't you? Yeah, the last five or six years I did uh, the futures and the Forex. And um, each, uh, I think every year in the last uh, five or six years, I've been either double to triple digits in Forex or in futures. So uh -huh. kind of the reason I do those is to show people that, uh, you know, I do do an advisory report and have some educational material that um, I actually trade and trade successful. These are, of course, real money, real time returns. So that okay. uh, it's, you know, a lot different than just an advisor. As I look at everything yeah. from a practical trade uh, strategy standpoint. Okay, now let's start out. We'll look at the election cycle that you're looking at here. Then what we'll do is we'll look at Bitcoin and then the gold stuff. And then we want to talk about your book towards the end of the show, okay? Super. Mm -hmm. Okay, go right ahead. What's our election year's average? Democrats only. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> yeah. Well, this year it's a Democratic president. So uh, um, I just oh, okay. just completed uh, and released a few weeks ago the my election cycle book in the stock market, and I really break down all of the uh, years into different groups, including, for instance, if the incumbent is a Democrat. We look at it differently than if the incumbent is a Republican because they have significantly different returns between one or the other. So this particular chart that you're seeing, we have four different averages on it, and we have all of the election years since 52. And then we have those election years that were just with a Democratic president. We have those election years that were just with a first-term president, which this year is the case. And then we have the election years with a first-term Democrat. So they all kind of have the same trend, uh, both in general as well as throughout the years. So there's not a great difference, but uh, it's a difference in the returns depending on what group you're looking at. Yeah, you know, I'm looking at this, and you're talking about that. Well, I don't want to get into politics, but I remember when Nixon was going through his really bad period, he kept saying, "I am not a crook. I am not a crook." And I, right, and I, right. what you know, I don't want to go into it. But when I saw that, I said, "Gosh, this guy's really tried to do." He did some great things through China, of course. But uh, when you have a president say that, that's uh, pretty tough. Let's move on to the next one, Bob, which is uh, everybody seems to have an interest in it, but very few people trade it that I know of. Oh, please don't tell me you're going to do that to me. Hold on just a second. I've got to go to I've got to go to step one. Get it up here to get the right side. You know how technically uh, oriented I am. So here's our Bitcoin chart. Yeah. Yeah, tell us what you're looking <laughs> okay. at. Just give us the high time and price within 10 minutes. That's all we're asking for. Okay, well, I can do it within 30. So, okay, good. Yeah. Well, we'll stick with that chart. Okay. <laughs> well, See, this is, yeah, this is a Bitcoin <laughs> weekly chart. Um, the, the main lesson from this chart, I think anyway, is that we're kind of in the initial stages of this bull trend. However, I think we're really close, maybe even within days or a week or two, of completing a top that's going to last for several weeks or so. I just did a, about a 
16 page report for subscribers on Bitcoin and particularly around the halving. As you know, there's this what's yes. called the halving in mid April. And uh, the reactions that are typically against the halving, and just the, I'll give you the bottom line is typically after a halving is that a market sideways to down, Bitcoin is sideways to down for four to six weeks. Um, so it's about four to six weeks after this having is when the real opportunity is going to come, I believe. Right now, we're right at a time and price and momentum cycle target for at least a high that will last several weeks. Bob, I know you're a really smart guy and you've done a lot of research and stuff. I want to ask you a question. I hope you can answer it. If you don't, that's not a big deal. Do you think mm -hmm. this is do you think this is Tulip Bulb City or is this a real deal? Well, there's, let me react to that in a couple ways. <laughs> One is Bitcoin, you know, is just imagine, an imaginary market. It's it, it just uh, it has it has no fundamentals. It has no utility, uh, but people will bet um, for and against it. So, and there's a yes. big market to do that. So we're not in tulip mania yet. I suspect for the second half of this year we may be. So the, the next yeah. the next section up is what in Elliott Wave terms we call the final section of Wave Five, and uh, uh, because you know, we just broken above slightly, or we're testing. I think those what is it 2021 uh, major swing highs is that a retracement and then a break above it uh, could bring in a lot of buying, and we could be buying tulips. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, well. I haven't been involved in it very few. Well, a couple of people I know have been involved in it and done relatively good. Well, first of all, they don't know how to go short, which is a real blessing for them, you know. <laughs> yeah, probably so, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, Let's you see. keep in mind, there's there's a lot of ETFs now. So you can get in and out oh, yeah. pretty quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they can so that's, even go, that's the they only can way go short and, and do the whole, the whole thing. Now, the next one I wanted to cover here was, uh, let me see, I could cut Bitcoin. Let me see if this makes sure I get this one right. Uh, that's the election year one. Okay, reason I'm, I'm stumbling here because we're gonna have a break here in one minute and thirty seconds, so we got plenty of time. We're gonna give you the first intro about your book. Let's get this up here so we can see it. And sure enough, I got to redo it the other way. Bob, you know that I'm technically challenged, and boy, this is proving it. So hold on just a second. Now we'll get it up here. There we go. This is your definitive guide to the U.S. election cycle and stock market trends, Robert C. Myers. Right. So. Uh, first of all, you got about a minute. Yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. One minute. Okay. Well, I just released it a few weeks ago, and I've been writing reports on the election cycle since the late '90s. So, uh, this past year, I decided I was going to compile it all into a book, add some additional research, and I, I, no one's ever done a book just on this election cycle, stock market trends. So, I really went into detail. Uh, so that there's specific times in each one of the four years of the election cycle that uh, you have a real bias, positive bias wow. to take advantage of. And that's what I go through in this book. Okay. Stay with us, Bob. We've got to pay a few bills. We'll be right back with Bob Miner, and he'll be talking to us about gold. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Back, folks, talking with Bob Miner. Bob, this is a monthly gold chart, and boy, I have to agree, this thing looks like it's ready to really take off. Uh, I think so. For over a year... Uh, the objective was to identify when uh, this corrective low would be complete. We finally identified that uh, several months ago. We called a wave four of five. So we're just kind of, I believe, anyway, now in the initial stages of a next leg up and good possibility that could be uh, quite an accelerated advance once it gets underway. Well, it certainly looks like you've got targets up there from 25.92 to 26.75, and those are big Fibonacci numbers, and it certainly makes a really good case for them getting there. We're, we've hit 203 uh, already, so this this was published a couple of days ago, I guess, correct? Right, already, yeah, this we was, I captured, well, I think I captured this one last night, actually. It might be data about two days old. Oh, yeah, we're looking at the monthly it's now. A, I was looking at the quarterly before. Monthly, yeah. yeah, we're at the monthly. It's, yeah, it's monthly, yes, the, yeah. The, the, yeah. and this is kind of a minimum target, by the way. Uh, it's not. Target. Oh my goodness! What, wow. If we if we have an, if we had a speculative, you know, kind of panic buying, uh, which is fairly typical in the latter stages of a gold trend, it could go significantly higher. <clears throat> okay. Wow. Well, this is really something. This you, you want to tell us what you're looking at here in this gold uh, weekly close. Uh, I can see we had a nice bottom back there in October of 2022, and uh, right, the, the, yeah. that's for sure. Well, the 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 idea of this chart is, you know, when you have trade strategies, it's like, well, I think the market's in a position to continue the advance, but you always got to identify your stop. What what tells you that you're incorrect and the market's not going to continue the advance. And the be beauty of the immediate position of gold is uh, that little red arrow I have in there. This is a, uh, where it was the test of the breakout, uh, that little swing low. Yes. Literally, just a decline and a weekly close below that would uh, avoid the probability of a continued bull trend. So that's very close to the market. That's what I call high probability trade. We have a stop that could be very close to the market. So I never know. I'm not a forecaster. I don't know what the future is going to hold. I just whoa, whoa, identify, whoa. you know, you trade know opportunities and then get the hell out when uh, if, if I get stopped out, I got to identify that get out uh, specific price 
whenever you have a trade, and that's it right now for gold. Well, like you've always said, there's a difference between trading and forecasting, and you're not a forecaster. So I remember you telling no. me that many years ago up in Pismo Beach. Did, I, I don't know if yeah. you knew or not, but Jimmy Jimmy Twentyman passed away last uh, Wednesday, and uh, he was only that, 78 that's years what I old. Heard. Yeah, and uh, I know you met him and several I, I think times. I the last time I saw him was in Pismo Beach. <laughs> I probably was, yeah. Yeah, we lived there, for, we lived there together for five years up on the hill. A lot of stories right. that went through that house, wasn't there? <laughs> That's for sure. Okay. Yes. Let's, yes. Let's take a quick look here. I think, that, I think was there one more to look at? Let's make sure I have everything. Uh, I think you know that what? Was we might go good. back to that um, uh, election cycle chart. Because okay, there's you, something you we didn't mention about. We want to do that? Okay, there it is. We're right here. Fire away. Cool. So you can see that kind of red arrow that I have. The the most important thing about this election year, right, coming up anyway, is the most reliable, uh, biased seasonal trend of an election year is this spring low to summer high. And the spring lows, they're kind of spread out between about mid-April to mid-May. But uh, when we get into mid-April time period, which is not too far away, we'll really be looking for a trade opportunity on the long side uh, for a probable uh, rally that would continue into around mid-August to mid-September. And, and the last, since 1952 anyway, there has been a, a positive return from spring low to summer high every single year. So that's why it's, wow. I, I featured this chart. And it's not time yet, but in we're, general, we're, we're we'll be sideways in the spring, down. Mm -hmm. Got eight more days, we're going to be in spring, believe it or not. <laughs> so right, the official spring, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but it'd sure. be about mid-April before you start looking for the seasonal advance anyway during an election year. Okay, listen, I want to thank you for being our guest. We'll have you on next month if possible. And if, hey, Bob, anytime you want to come on with a special, because I know you have special reports and people follow those very closely and you want to bring it to the attention of folks, just let me know and we'll have you on very easily. I had Peter Lides on yesterday and it was really fun chatting with him. I met Jimmy and Peter Lides in the spring of 66. They're across the McCulloch yeah. Old Building down in West L.A. And so... I'm backing in, and Larry Fantastic. Williams, all three of them, Larry, all Larry Williams. There's a whole bunch of Joe DiNapoli. They were all, they were all there at the yeah. same time. <laughs> hey, listen, thanks for joining us, buddy, and enjoy that uh, beautiful southern hospitality you got over there. If, if ever get down that way, I'll stop in and we'll have a glass of wine or something. Fantastic. Take care. Good talking. You bet. You bet. Bob Miner, folks, a really, uh, really good technician, and as he says, he's a trader, not a forecaster. Okay, let's move on here, and let's just see what the old clock on the wall says. We've got three minutes in this segment, so the first thing we want to do is to get up and see how we're doing here with this uh, thing that we were looking at with the old S&P. And uh, let's see, we're to get it out of the way here. Are we still in it? I don't know. Well, son of a gun, it looks like we still are, Gomer. We made a couple of dollars on that little sucker, so don't go yelling and screaming at me today. Anyway, that's what we're watching here. We got right up to that level. Good old A, B, C, D coming in. So if you've made a couple of bucks here, see that 75. Worst you could do is put your stop at break even. The reason why I say that, the forecast, the AI forecast says we should be down for the rest of the day. You see, and it, believe me, folks, it's not, it's not, uh, if this did this like every day out on the world and. I already got my piece of it. I don't need it. But anyway, if you just oh, stop it. This is what 20 minute and I worked on for so many years up there in Pismo Beach. Here's what we want to do sometimes is when you move, if you see how you shifted the cycle, it even does it better. But remember, this did this 24 hours before the market did this. It, get, it goes back over the last uh, 30 days and it picks out what happened the previous three days and it gives you the best indication of what should happen on the fourth day that's what this all this is doing sometimes it works perfectly like this sometimes it doesn't but this is one of those days that it worked i'll be using this uh, application when we do our day trading program in april that we're going to be doing one day a week we'll be doing three hours of live trading and it'll be at from nine o'clock until 12 um, new york time so that gives us the open all through halfway through the day and that's uh, what we'll be watching have a little fun i i enjoy doing the three hours and uh, when I'm trading, you know, it's not, I don't have to do a lot of preparation. The problem is I got to do a lot of thinking. And sometimes my, my thinking might be off a little bit, and other times it does okay. I have had a question here from one of our listeners about the corn market. So let's get to back to business here. 
we got another few seconds here for sure. We were looking at Christmas corn, and there's the hourly chart on Christmas corn. By golly, it's still back up here again. Boy, this thing is really – we're right at the target here of December corn, folks. This is um, – well, we've hit it. There's 474 and backed off a little bit today. Well, four or five cents, that's nothing. But this is where the area where you want to be taking profits in December corn. They haven't even begun to plant, plant this stuff yet, folks. You know, it's had a 30% a 30 cent rally. And remember, looking at this on the weekly, you couldn't get anybody to buy it down here, if you remember. Hey, let's take a break. 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're back, and I'm... Uh going to show you this is christmas meal folks this is december soybean meal this is protein folks this is something we can't get get along without gold is indigestible crude oil is indigestible and soybean meal is something that you need this is pure protein it's 80 percent of the soybean plant this is where you want to really watch this we've had a little three-day sell-off here you know just go to the hourly chart to show you what's happened here there's what it's done so far uh, this is where I had the data problem the other day. This is where we were expecting the report to come in here 
on uh, this day right here. And of course, uh, the report was uh, slightly bullish. Uh, well, it was, wasn't bearish, but it had a big run up. Now we've had this little three day pullback right here. Let's just clean this up really quickly to see where our retracement was. And I missed this because of doing so many other things. You got your low to your high and uh, went to the 50% level almost. The difference between here is only $150, but you you want to look for a place to get long this thing, folks, because it's got a it's got a chance to buy it. I, fact is, if you got a couple of extra bucks, instead of putting it in a piggy bank, buy December soybean meal because this thing is really, really low, and I believe it's got a chance. Just look at this weekly, where we are way down here. And you can see protein uh, can get really, really exciting up in here. So uh, this is a time to be looking to be a buyer of soybean meal. So let's keep that uh, on our watch list, okay? That's what we're watching. Now, hopefully on Friday, keep your fingers crossed, but we're going to try to have Mr. James Bartolioni of Bart's Charts uh, as our guest on Friday. And I think you'll uh, have a good time listening to him. And it's always a lot of fun. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless and do something nice for your neighbors, folks, because there are a lot of folks out there having a lot of trouble. It's not an easy move for some of these folks. So be very, very generous. 